Good day everybody, welcome back to Fun Media here. I'm gonna talk why I really like since a uh, couple of years Pinnacle Studio. This is Pinnacle Studio 24 Ultimate. I'm gonna do a little review and a little tour of what's inside, why I like it. It's uh the ultimate version 24 turns around a hundred dollar it's a one one time pay you pay one time and that's it it's yours you can use it for life upgrade sometimes if you want when there's an upgrade every year uh, you don't have to register like some others where you have to pay every month again and again and again if you're really really an advanced user and you want to do a lot of special effect uh, you can do a couple here it's not like after effect or those with uh, apple uh, but if you're a little resourceful a bit used to it because this this one you need a bit of knowledge not that much but uh it's pretty complete if you if you're a YouTuber or you want to do some home movies, it's a really good one. So first, uh, the import here is pretty easy to use. I mean, you can import from pretty much everything. Your bin, your computer, DVDs, your, you can do stop motion, snapshot, multicam, which is really good if you use a lot of... Uh, a lot of camera you can use multicam capture that's pretty good you can use your webcam now here I'm gonna talk about those little tools here so of course the first one is all your bin so I got one here with two little image just to show how it works a little bit I'll put one here it's very very easy to use and after that right here you have all, all of your project so you save a project you can come back to an old one here's all your collection where you import all of your files and everything latest import everything you can make a new files it's very very friendly very easy easy to use and now here comes the fun part like the editing all, all the stuff about the editing so all of the effect are here or of course if you double click on a clip you will have all the effect here if you want to make correction or go in some effect here you get everything all the 2d 3d stuff all the common stuff that you see pretty much in all of the good software but there is more the keyer if you want to do green green screen stuff it's really really easy to use so it's it's pretty friendly i mean you just take one effect let's say i want to adjust the color and the good thing is like you can see here you have keyframe so you can put a key let's say i just want to transform the contrast I put a keyframe here then I get my video here and I can change the contrast I'm doing pretty much like new things I'm, I'm just showing you guys like it's not really beautiful now it's, it's just to show you how, how it works but the, I, I would say a good software good editing software you gotta have those keyframe it's so useful like here and then whoop you go to another keyframe it's gonna change it's really good for pan and zoom using all the keyframe like here you got your image I'll put a keyframe here and then I go here I'd like to zoom it here see it just put a keyframe so it's gonna do an auto see it's doing an auto render 
so you don't have to press Control R or anything. And now you just let it go. Three, two, one. Boom. See, it's using the keyframe where you put it. So of course now I'm just showing it to you. I'm doing pretty much nothing really useful for real editing. Is just to show you how the keyframe works. I'm not gonna do an edit like a tutorial on how to use keyframe for real but it's just to show you that all the all the stuff that you can do is really really cool so if I go back here let's say I go in artistic you got all the stuff like let's, let's see I I want to put some fire I'll put the fire on it and boom here's the fire so then then I, I would double click on it and I would go edit the fire let's say I want a really really small fire just here I can set it here I mean it's really if you're a bit used to editing you can have a lot of fun looking at everything all the stuff that you have here I'll just go back to have a normal image okay back to normal now so that's for your fx now you have all the, the transition of course transition are really important so i'm just gonna go back to my little stuff here i'll put a second video here of course you can adjust your timeline like that if you want to make the normal transition you can just go like that and here's your transition okay this this would be like the normal transition that you can see in a lot of videos but uh, if you want to go like more deep then you got all of those here I did there's tons of it tons of it see Let's say you're filming wedding wedding stuff, so I would go probably with that. Of course, it's no match with my little desert here. But as you can see, I I got a I got, and you can double click on it if you want a little preview. You got a ring here. You got sports stuff. You got like more professional for movies. You got tons and tons and tons of transition. Now, this is the sound effect, which is really, really cool, all free to use. So, let's say I want to put water or electronic stuff. If you gun, let's say you're doing a little western, you can have a preview. Let's try to riffle. So that's pretty cool because now you also have some sound editing. So you just put it here. And if you want, if you want to adjust your sound, you go here. I'll put the gun louder. I'll make that one shut down. And there you go. Shutting gun in the desert. Okay, I'll put it off because I don't, I don't really need that. So you got tons. You got cartoon here. You got some bells, comic. If you're doing a little artistic comic kind of video, really cool. Now the title. So title in this version of Twenty Four Ultimate, it's probably the biggest upgrade from uh, Pinnacle Studio 23 you can play a lot with the titles you got a lot of content a lot of good template if you would like to do um, some like YouTube video intro or that kind of stuff so you have a couple of template 
So that's pretty cool. I mean, you, you just like you just search and all of those things and of course they're all it's not just the text that you can modify you can modify pretty much everything that's in those little thing and of course you can use this little t here you got the 3d title if you want or normal title and then you can modify pretty much everything the color the asset where you want it you got all your keyframe if you want to make movement you can put shape some motion I mean if you're new to it it might be a little hard to use but just play with it again and again and again and you'll have a lot of fun because it's not it's not just adding a title to a movie you, you can do more than that I mean you, you can do can like you have the mask here you can follow like let's say like, there's a by uh, or a bug here that flies like that I want a title to follow it there's tons of thing you can do with the title you can do very re really really good like YouTube intros or outros pretty cool okay now this is some montage and templates so let's go see I don't know let's you're filming some sports you're filming a baseball game and you want to do a cool video for your kids and give it to his friend there you go so you it's like a template for baseball let's go see just one more I don't know stars what I don't know what's that ending so you just replace stuff like with photos and or videos like the one would be probably a photo or video then with switch it's not exactly like a transition it's more like a montage template but you really gotta search in all of those because there's tons of it some animated overlays that we did you would put like above Ooh. just to show you how it is it's rendering so of course the major thing about editing is not like I'm doing right now because I'm going quick you don't just put something like that and put it there after that you click on it and then you edit stuff I mean you gotta be a little creative here see everything is adjustable the properties correction the colors the effect on it be creative music so pinnacle studio comes with music that are free free to use you can put it on youtube like you can see here there's 561 song that you can use or edit for intro outro or just music for your film and you won't be penalized by youtube because they're free to use Or if you want you can just search here you click on music let's say I want a kind of a jazz one click here click here and I'll get a preview so like I said there's 561 songs I mean any kind of movie that you would do it would be perfect you just add to the movie here then you can edit your song you can go that's a audio docking it's technique like you said here to allow narrator voice if you want to have some voice you can record your voice pretty cool or you have more song here and those songs like you can see a little card here you have to pay for them but I mean with the free one it's pretty complete anyway but you got more option if you want 
and now all the tools that you got here of course you got a magnet tool I won't talk about all the tools right now but like magnet tools if you don't have a magnet tool like that in an editing software it's a it's a bad software I mean it's very very normal like you see it's it, it'll go like magnet boom see how you click on it so that's pretty cool one other that I really like is the razor tool here split clip look that's really really important for editing and really important see this one goes with this one but I like cut it in two and one more that I like is that one here is the crop let's say there's a plane here I just want to use a plane I would crop it like that to the plane and use it only this part and this one is scale so now I'll keep all the image but I'll play with the scale of it and this one is really good if you use green screen let's say I got a little someone walking on the green screen but this person's big like that the entire image and I want it really small walking like only here so I will go with the chroma key take out the green and then I will like go like this put the small guy it would become really really small and I would put the little guy right here just with this little tool here so that's pretty cool so yeah that's pretty much the basic there's a lot more but the basic of this software it's pretty much what you've just seen now of course the export tool you got you got pretty much all the format that you need of course MPEG 4 for YouTube is normally the best one but you got everything you need if you want to export only a song or no visual you can go with audio only yeah so the only thing I would say when you start go file go new new movie save it right away and I, I'll go control s pretty much every 10 minutes just to make sure that uh, I won't I won't lose anything I mean if you have if you don't have a really good computer just make sure you do control s because it might crash sometimes if you guess yeah if you have a good computer well just save it either way just to make sure so that's pretty much it about uh, the major point of Pinnacle Studio 24 that's the ultimate version really like it I gave it my thumbs up and we'll talk to you next time